We are back with more action from the World Cup of Pokemon and this is a hilarious game and that also a game between two captains. On my side we have Osh, yeah we'll call him Osh, who is representing Team Bangladesh and on the top we have Double M who is representing Team Greece. So going into this game, Greece is at one of the bottom most position in the table. Out of 16 teams, they are at number 14. However, however, Bangladesh, they are at the top. They are number one in the qualifiers. And this is why this game is a very, very important game. So Bangladesh has to win this game because if you secure the number one spot, you do not have to play the elimination games. You are directly in the main tournament. Yeah, you don't have to play the remaining elimination games. And for Greece as well, this is a very, very important match because winning this game means that you have a slight wind of qualifying and if you lose, it's total GG go home Greece next year. So yeah, it's a very, very important match. Now let's have a look at the teams. Osh has brought a VGC team. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I might not be a VGC player, but I can tell by the looks of a team. It's a single team or a VGC team. Just look at this. He has Indiri, he has the mouse, he has Halusha, he has hat, all these are VGC Pokemon, it's not a psychic spam, it's not a hyper offense, they have brought straight up a VGC team in a crucial World Cup game. However, we can't say the same about Double M or Mysterious M. He has brought a very very fat balanced team, looks like a Spex Dragapult, a he I mean a Spex Valiante, a Hex Dragapult, so pretty fat balanced team by Double M and a VGC team by Osh. So let's see what happened in this game, this is a very very crazy claim which is gonna blow your mind. We see a Iron Valiante lead on an Indeedee and this Valiante looks like Choice Specs and he goes to the treadmill sprinting a Moonblast I guess is this Choice Specs. He goes for a Terra Fairy, it has to be Specs on it, Specs runs Terra Fairy and Moonblast does a lot of damage but the treadmill gets a speed boost so yeah Double M shouldn't reach the Steel Beam. Okay goes for the Rock which is a fair play and the hat is gonna come out predicting the rocks from the Tusk. Yep. And this hat is most likely gonna get a kill here with Psyche. Oh, goes for the screen. I think Double M picked the eject button. Yeah, picks the eject button for sure. And the Holucha comes out. The first appearance of Holucha in the wall. Come, let's see what this Holucha can do. He goes for the guard. He should SD, right? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, the guard cannot go for the salt here. First appearance of Holucha already going stupid. SD is pretty free here. He has to SD. Yeah, he goes for SD. I think he should SD again because Double M doesn't have a priority one. He can't fight him. Oh, the card is gonna die. The card is gonna die. First appearance in the wall cover Pokemon. This Holucha is already taking souls and some, everything else is gonna die. This Holucha is gonna sweep Double M's whole team. This is the AD picks, right? Oh, it's a defensive pick. Okay, Hayes. Does he have his? Okay, yeah, Hayes comes out, but still, the Holucha is gonna grab a kill. Lord Cat doesn't keep SD. I think keep, keep SD, keep SD, come on, test his patience, keep SD. You have that nice play by Osh, really nice play. Double M, <laughs> waiting for Double M to choke. And finally, Osh gives up and goes for an acro. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, you kill the pecs, you kill the court, you kill the defensive court, the dragon comes out, infiltrator, specs, or darts. Yep, it's darts, it's Paul. Oh, it barely killed the Lucha, but the Lucha has already destroyed Double M's half of the team. First appearance in the World Cup and already going stupid. Okay, then Giddy comes out on the guard, and this is the free dream of Psychic. Yep, the psychic comes out. You don't really risk anything on make someone use it. Doubles. The treadmills comes out to get the rocks up. Okay, double M goes to the safe recover. Yeah, the tusk is gonna come out or the Valiante comes out. On a steel beam, oh stricted the Valiante goes for the steel beam. The specs Teramon are already gone from Team Greece. Team Greece is getting destroyed like crazy. Come on, Greece, come on, you can't do this. Oh my god, the ability comes out. Is the salt here because its job is done the same terrain. And the psychic does a decent chunk to the guard. And we already know that this guard is not rocks because the tusk is rock. So the Paul comes out on a psychic or a switch. Goes for the encore. Okay, I don't know what the encore was meant to do, but I guess it's a fair play. And we see the hat comes out and Dragapult goes for a sub. Okay, and this hat is definitely gonna get quick killed by Hex. Unless it's a Shadow Ball sub quality. It's a Hex Paul, does a lot to the hat, and this hat is gonna beam. And there is no other move you click here except beam. And the Paul is always Hex here unless it goes for a sub. Okay, the hat goes down and uh, what comes out? The DD. Okay, the, the hat is gonna uh, status in, right? The pole is gonna status the mouse. Okay, doesn't know the status. I don't know why it switched out there. Mouse first appearance in the world. Come on, it has low kick. Oh, it's a low kick mouse. It fails to kill the guard, but there's so much damage. Okay, does he make the switch to the pole? Does he switch to the pole? No, he sacks the guard. The whole chat now the mouse. Oh my god. Disaster going on. Okay, the chest is literally gonna live. Goes for the population room, does a lot. Oh, the crit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He crit. Oh, this mouse is critting that task. Oh my god. Is this mouse? gonna sweep the team barely barely miss on the kill but wait he's kicked the rapid spin over earthquake oh my god what on earth is happening right now he clicks the spin no ah uh, the mouse is gonna yeah buy this pretty free because you bite the tusk and this poltergeist is gonna get a free setup yep and this is totally totally 
unless this task has like some rock blast or some shit, <laughs> it's over. I don't even know the task get rock blast, but yeah, here's the teapot. It's Ash, as I told you, and Ovost made a really good job to not get up rocks, not allow mysterious ember get up rocks, and this teapot is kind of sweet. <laughs> Oh my god, my lungs are bleeding by commenting this game. I can't, I can't take this much, man. Holy shit, man. This guy is crazy. This Bangladesh team is clearly crazy. The first game, they brought a Typhlosion. And now they brought a BGC team in a World Cup. My god. You guys, holy shit, man. Yeah, I don't know, but... This is why I guess they're the top team right now. This is why. Yeah, they're playing really, really well. And unfortunately for Greece, they're 200% out of the World Cup. Like last year, they played really well, yeah, they made it to the main tournaments, however, this year, it went totally, totally crash, like crash course for them. Yeah, the crash is dummy shit going on. Totally got destroyed and I think they played horribly, horribly. Some, some, like, very questionable plays made by Mysterious in first league, let me just show you the plays. Firstly, this play actually went, I don't know, I, I do not know the set, but like, all hex falls should have a status move. So here, this turn, let me show you, yeah. Uh, right about now. So yeah, we see the hat ring die, and the mouse comes out here, and this falls has to be a status move, a wish for a T wave. I don't know why it switched out there, unless 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 it's a darts U turn like curse and hex. I don't know, man. Yeah, Greece might be cooking some crazy shit, but I don't think it was a like a curse and hex set. Yeah, that doesn't exist. So. Yeah, either he feared to miss the willow wisp or he thought that this mouse might be some lumberry. Yeah, like Bangladesh has been bringing some crazy shit, so he might be a lumberry and not violence mouse. But regardless, I think this was a hilariously crazy game, so we will watch some highlights from this game. First, this Halucha goes for a sub on the guard because Solcure is not gonna break the sub and it goes for the SD. I think here Osh made a very big misplay. I think he should have always clicked the SD twice because. Mysterious M, he didn't have a priority mon. I don't see a single priority mon, so I don't know why he clicked, didn't click SD. But SD would have secured a guaranteed win for uh, Osh. So, yeah, and he has to act over here. But this Halucha, the only and the first appearance of Halucha in the World Cup, <laughs> destroyed Mysterious M half team. Half of Mysterious M team already destroyed. My god, man. This Halucha went super stupid on him. Yeah, this Halucha went crazy, man. It also shipped the Dragonfall down to a very, very good extent. And I think this was a role as well. This Dragon Ball would have been able to, I mean, the Halucha would have survived the Dragon Dust. This was a shitty damn role. Yeah, and if it survived, it was totally, totally over. And then we see the damn, the damn mouse. Yeah, let's skip to the mouse. Yeah. Why did it, yeah, I don't know, man. Why did it fall switch out on the mouse? It was a very free Willow Wisp for a T wave. Like, Willow Wisp for T wave would have sealed the deal. Why the hell would you switch out? I, I don't know, man. Did he fear the miss, I guess? I mean, that makes no sense because you lose arrow if you switch. Unless he doesn't have a hex. I mean, hex, he, yeah, as you can see, he has hex, right? But hex with a status move, I've, I've not seen that set. Like, Greece has, has run some mysterious crazy shit in the past. So I don't know whether it's not a hex fault. It is like psychic fangs to break screens or like, what the hell is it? I have no clue, man. You guys let me know what that fault was. But yeah, I think this mouse and uh, the VGC team. <laughs> so, what does this game conclude, though? <laughs> what does this game conclude? Are VGC players better than singles players? I guess it's an endless, endless debate and we will never find out the answer. But all I know from this game is that the VGC team totally obliterated the singles team and yeah, kind of destroyed them pretty much. And yeah, the teapot is gonna sweep. Because like the only way Mysterious M could have won the game was to keep Paul versus the teapot, which which was not possible because unless Osh would have Osh, I Osh choked in the end, he should have always gone for the bite on the Tusk because yeah. The moment you switch out, if he stays in also with the Tusk and if the if the mouse dies for the Tusk, the teapot gets a free setup. So I think that was a huge misplay. I think yeah, the captain of Bangladesh made some really, really good misplays, I mean bad misplays by not ending with the core. And then also lastly, he didn't go for the bite and went for the population bomb on the Tusk. But still, I think it all matters how you, it, it, whether you win or lose the game. So yeah. Good luck to both of the teams and we'll be back with one more crazy video tomorrow. Stay safe, take care and peace.